Hello guys, Sadek Pandey here from Indian Webfix School. And in this tutorial, we are going to look at the rest position attribute. Okay, so this is a very common mistake that people uh, encounter, and that is like when they apply a texture or a, a, a attribute or a map to an animated object, they will see that the object is like always floating through that noise. And the reason is because it's using the position of the geometry to evaluate the noise pattern. Okay. Same is with the, like, let's say if you want to make a velocity field around your character. Okay. So what happens is like, uh, you will see like, it's always going to get animated on every frame. Even if I turn off the animation, it's going to get animated on each and every frame. Okay. So how we can come from here to here, where our, uh, map is not going to animate it's going to get stuck to our geometry okay and it's going to follow it uh, in a proper way and same with the velocity field okay and like if i turn it off you will see it's not going to change its um, vectors around the geometry okay all right so let's see how we can do that all right so we are having a crack geometry over here and it's walking uh, like this okay and in order to add some like uh, add some velocities the first thing that we need to do is like unpack this so because any FBX that you bring into uh, Houdini or any animated geometry, mostly it's packed. Okay. So what this packed geometry means so that uh, it means like it's, it won't have any information about the point positions. Okay. Uh, all the points and all the attributes will be like just packed. So you just need to unpack it in order to like have the points because we want the velocity and uh, color. So all the attributes, they work on this point attribute. And if you don't have the position attribute, you're not, uh, the, like the you cannot you won't be able to create any attribute okay and most most likely you won't be able to do anything if you don't have any unpacked geometry okay so we unpacked it okay now let's see if i just add a you know attribute noise okay so i want to add some color on our geometry okay so this thing is fine okay and i'll just set it to zero centered and i'll increase the amplitude and if I just play it, you will see it will just start changing its color. Okay, I can set it to float value also. And you can see uh, it, it will just start changing its color. And now it's, it's going to be uh, useless because let's say if I want to have some particle emission or let's say if I want to have some fire emission based on this area where, uh, where the fire is like, you know, um, sorry, where the texture is white and I don't want to have any emission where the texture is black. So uh, if our geometry is getting animated, uh, that thing will just become useless because now it's going to change its uh, texture over the time. So how we can fix that? Same if I add a point velocity. Okay. And let's say if I change it to, uh, okay, I'll just set it to compute form deformation. And let's say if I add some curl noise over it. Okay. Or let's say if I just turn off this uh, set to value and I'll just add this curl noise and i can click on this display point trails okay so you can see it's uh, okay so right now let's say if i want to emit some particles from this geometry so they are going to get emitted uh, in this random direction okay and i just want to animate it very slowly but as soon as you will uh, this object will start animating you won't have the control to animate it yourself it's going to just follow the position attribute and it's going to just animate it itself so this will just become useless in our case so what is the way to fix it? So we need to drive, uh, we need to get an attribute from the position and we need to like freeze that attribute and then we need to refer it to the um, location attribute over here. So let me tell you what I mean. So we will just add a rest position. So this attribute is like, this node is like really helpful. So first it expects a deforming geometry, which is, which we already have. So this is the deforming geometry. I'll press shift buses in order to have my wires smoothed out. Okay. So this is our rest geometry. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is the deforming geometry. And then it says uh, rest position. So what rest position means is like the, uh, the geometry that you will get on the first frame. Okay. So we want a static geometry out of it. So I can just add a time shift node. Okay. Time shift. And in order to make it static or freeze on a particular frame, you can just go to that frame and then you can click right click and delete channel. So I'll just go to the first frame and I'll right click and I'll click on this delete channel. So we will have a static geometry. Okay. Now, if I plug this into my rest position, okay, uh, second input of the rest position, you will see we will have an attribute uh, which will say rest. Okay. And you can just rename it to whatever you want. 
okay now you will see it's uh, it's going to uh, just stick to our geometry okay even though it's uh, like even though our geometry is getting animated the, uh, the attribute of the position is changing on every frame but still it's stuck to the uh, you know uh, geometry quite well okay and that is it now if i just add this attribute noise okay and if i click on this right now obviously uh, okay first of all i'll just click on this rest okay yeah so now we have this uh, black and white map but still it's going to float okay because we are telling we are not telling it to use the rest attribute okay so right now it's driving the color based uh, so it says location so here it says noise no, noise pattern and it's set to simplex okay that is fine and it's saying from where it's going to uh, you know calculate the position of the noise so that position is set to p okay and uh, as you know the p is changing on every frame so if i go to this geometry spreadsheet you will see the position is getting animated on every frame but the rest position it's not getting animated uh, on every frame so i can just click over here and it will uh, it will automatically have this rest okay and if i just click on this you will see yeah that is it bam now if you want to have some fire uh, to you know to stick on your surface and just animate gradually okay and you can just do that okay <clears throat> all right so you can do one more thing if you go into this animation you can click on this animate noise and now you will have an animated noise which you can control very well so let's say if i increase the pulse duration so my uh, noise is going to be animated very slowly and this is like very helpful i mean it's not very helpful like it's um it's it is so helpful because it's going to be used like in everything okay so if you want to emit some smoke on the character while it's moving or if you want to emit some particles uh, through a map you are going to use it all the times same thing uh, will happen with the point velocity so right now we see we are having this let's say if i want to make a velocity field around my character and i want to animate it gradually okay so maybe i'll increase the sword size something like this so the problem that we'll face right now is that it's going to animate on every frame you can see the uh, it's changing the <clears throat> the vector side they are getting changed on every frame okay because the location attribute is set to p so i will just click over here and i'll just type rest because it's not uh, giving any flag okay so now if i change it to rest you can see now the velocity vectors they are like not changing at all okay and now i can click on this animated object uh, animated option and now my pulse duration is set to one so now it will just you know now we can animate it on our fill okay all right so i can now increase the pulse duration so the animation the noise of the the animation of the noise it's going to be uh, animated quite slow okay and maybe i can you know uh, like increase the scale or maybe decrease the sword size to what i want and now i have a total control over our um, noise animation and same with our map animation okay so that was it uh, i just wanted to make a tutorial on this rest position because i've seen a lot of uh, you know students and people doing this mistake where they are just using uh, the attribute noise on top of uh, an animated object and they are like getting confused with that why is it not sticking to the geometry why is it floating through the you know why is it floating through the uh, uh, character so that is why it's floating uh, through the character because the attribute that it's using is the you know uh, position and not the rest position so we need to use this rest node to get a rest position and then we need to tell it to our uh, uh, like attribute noise or uh, point velocity to use that attribute instead of the position attribute okay so i hope you like it and if you like it just uh, subscribe to the channel and we have more hoodney tutorials advanced ones and the beginner ones feel free to check them out bye bye